Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? It's me, Raven. What's going on? What's good? How you been? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo. How is you doing today? It's called Tuesday. Tuesday for Tuesdays. Hmm. Anyway, you see my earrings? This is a long girl can find a bargain, can I? So when you see these earrings and stuff like that, and you see the girls wearing them, honey, they cost a dollar. <laughs> I could have sworn it was going to cost more than a dollar, but it's a dollar, honey. Anyway, how you doing? <laughs> anyway, what's going on, people? Oh, just like I always tell when I'm in the middle of something, someone always calls me. The phone never rings. It never rings until somebody comes. Anyway, that's what it is. So, um, I just want to talk to you in reference to how's your day going? Has someone come into your life that seemed to be fabulous? Mmm. Okay, on a serious note, I want to talk to you in reference to being true to you and living your truth, trying to be happy. Mm, something to my mouth. See, I got my phone with a two-minute ring, honey. I shut you down. You don't call me all the kinds of the days. Anyway, I'm just a little question. You know, um... I talked to this one guy and stuff like that. You know, we've been cool and stuff like that. We've been talking. And, um, he has a lot of kids. I mean, a lot of kids. So due to the fact he has a lot of kids, I'm like, wow. You know, this is a large amount of kids. But, um, that may be him calling me now. So the simple fact of the matter is that, you know, we started talking, we was kicking and stuff like that. And everything was going pretty well and smooth and stuff like that. But then all of a sudden, the drop, the drop the bomb on me. And dropping the bomb means, um, how do I put this? I like you with cooling and everything. And all of a sudden, you drop the girl bomb on me. You have a girl. You know, and the simple fact of the matter is that we didn't got cooling and everything and stuff like that. Like, where did she come from? But it was like, you know, I didn't want to tell you because if I tell you, you know, I know you're not going to want to be with me and stuff like that, which is true. That's why my phone is ringing because, you know, I done done something. But I'm like, nothing towards her and him. And her. But, you know, I was like, yo, listen, no, I can't do it. And I understand, you know, the reason why, you know, he, um, you know, he did what he did. But the simple fact of the matter is that everybody always wants us to be truthful about who we are. So why can't you be truthful about what you are? But the simple fact of the matter is, like, he's really a cool fucking dude. You know, and the simple fact of the matter, like, with a lot of girls and stuff like that, girls and guys, when you meet a guy that you really like and stuff like that, and they're involved with someone else, do you get that thing to tell you to do it anyway? You're like, you know what? Nobody gets a fuck about me, so I'm supposed to do it anyway. Or you be like, no, honey, I'm not going to do it. No, I want my own. If you can be mine, I don't want you. Or you be like, oh, but all men cheat any fucker. I'm about to just date, deal with him for the time being. Or when you be like, you know what, my morals are too high, honey. Mm, I'm a church woman. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, because it's weird. Like, me and, me and him get along so well and stuff like that. I mean, everything, the chemistry and everything is all, everything is cool. But you got five kids and a girl. <laughs> and the simple fact of the matter was like, do you, some of you, some of you girls feel like God's mess with us, T.S., because they don't want to have any more kids? So the simple fact that they want to play it safe, so this way when they play it is safe, they know that we can't quite get pregnant. But I'm just saying, because simple fact of the matter makes you wonder. You know, and granted, whatever comes with the territory comes with it and stuff like that, if you can deal with the situation at hand. Me, myself, I'm too clingy. Like, I'm mushy and huggy and squeezy and all those wonderful love bug things, honey. So I don't know if that can handle me mentally. Like I, I, I need to, my mind needs to be nervous, honey. And to me, I feel like you already belong to somebody else, you know. And um, I kind of take you back to that video when it says I'm in love with an, with another man, and the simple fact of the matter is like somebody else. Look, I done told you my secret. No, but um, I just met him and stuff like that, and you know, it's I really like him, though. I really like him so much. But what's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong, and I don't want to be in that spot with this man. Oh! But it is what it is, and I just don't understand, like, why do guys that have somebody 
always wants to be in a relationship with, with somebody else. And they actually can make it work. They get you, they bring you a food, they throw you a couple of dollars, they do this, they do that. And how come dudes who don't have nobody don't want you or nobody else? Like they just want to just mess around. And you know, the thing about it with that is that I understand you want to get it all out your system before you settle down. If you decide to settle down, ooh, but I had a, but I had a moment. If you decide to settle down and stuff like that, but I'm just saying, you know, how do you feel about that when guys want to mess with you because they feel as though they don't want to get no other girl pregnant so they mess with a TS? How do you girls feel about that? I don't know how you guys feel about if you ever mess with one of us. <laughs> oh, look at you. If you ever mess with one of us. How do you feel about that? You know, that I'm blowing up your spot. You're like, bitch, you, you don't know what you're talking about. But the simple fact of the matter is that I just get this funny feeling. I want to find if any other girls are like that. You know, that he doesn't have enough kids and stuff like that. That's the reason why he messing with you. All you guys out there, like he done had enough kids and he messing with you on the down low. And then he be trying to keep you from being seen and stuff like that. And the more he keep putting it on, especially you guys. You know, the more that man keep putting on you, the more girl he pushing out your butt. And girl, and then you walk up to him and he say, hi, daddy. He's like, yo, that right there. <laughs> And he started looking at you, and you know, he like, you know, you was all hard at first, and all, so he done pumped all that man out of you, and all that woman started filling up your body, honey, and now you all, mm. and he's like, mm. you know what I'm talking about, guys, mm. mother wasn't always this way, mm, I know what happens, <laughs> but for my girls and stuff like that, you know, I, I, I know, you know, and I want to know how you feel about that, you have a guy ever messing with you because he got so many kids, and he's trying to play it safe. This way he don't have nobody dipping into his money. You know, play it safe because the simple fact of the matter is that he don't want to let you go. <laughs> My example, he don't want to let you go. I'm like, I can't do this. I'm sorry. It's been real. I'll be the dirt you. And that's it. But um, that's how I am, though. I'm not messing up nobody's family. I get my own. It's, it's enough men out here to find another sorry-ass man. Not saying all men are sorry. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, you know I love you, and thank you for subscribing, and thank you for watching my videos, and stuff like that, and watching Cuckoo Crazy, and all that wonderful stuff, and leaving your fabulous fears sometimes comments when you're trying to let me have it, or let me know something, or want me to straighten shit out. I'm going to be mean. You know, like the one girl told me online, she said, baby, don't sweat it. If they don't, if they don't like what you do in your videos, they don't have to click on it. My girls be coming for you. Them soldiers, honey. My sister soldiers be looking out for me. That's why I look out for your big sister. Don't let them come after me. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. You do you. You do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. <laughs>